lovely to be back with you once again on Around the Wickets on the Paparate.com. And once more, we are talking to you from a very happy position. That's because Sri Lanka has created history. Now, at the beginning of the tour, lots of people have said the Sri Lankan team wasn't given a chance, wasn't given a ghost of a chance, if I want to be absolutely brutal, because Australia virtually intimidated them, physically abused them with, with the fast bowlers, and then you end up in South Africa not knowing what to do. And here we are, beating South Africa and creating history. That's where we are as we start our program today. Fabis Maharu with me once again. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Rashad. Well, I'm not going to go into the scores because everyone knows the scores. Everyone knows what happened. But let's try and look at some of those important moments. And before we really go into the important moments, can you pick on one or two real reasons for Sri Lanka to turn around. I mean, I, I started the show by telling our viewers how Sri Lanka was. Beaten in New Zealand, beaten, in, beaten by England at home, a series that Sri Lanka should have won. Then virtually intimidated by the Australian fast bowlers. Then you go to South Africa. Statistically, the best ever bowling combination the world has seen. Now tell me what, in your opinion, what were these factors that really ticked or got them ticking? I mean, since the, uh, I mean, after the conclusion of the Australian series, I mean, I don't, I didn't, I, we don't know what, what really happened and uh, inside the dressing room and uh, what they spoke about. We know, but what, all happened. I, we know what happened in the inside the dressing room. That was in South Africa. We, though. we, we, have, we have seen some videos going around, but we are not going to talk about that. I mean, thing is, I mean, I mean if I'm being uh, really honest here, I think change of uh, captaincy would, okay. have, would, have, would have prompted as well because I, I keep hearing about good positive things about them from, mm -hmm. from the players itself and uh, from the media me media as well. So maybe change of captaincy, change of mentality to the players, more freedom. And, and it, they looked more uh, bubbly in the field. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it, I didn't see that happening in Australia or neither New Zealand. But in South Africa, from, since, since uh, Durban Test match, the first session, I see, I, I mean, I saw a big difference when it comes to body language. Okay. They were much enjoying and uh, the new, probably also the new faces who came mm. in uh, to point to prove. And uh, the, all the youngsters came in and straight away hit the mark. And uh, you know, all this little stuff did work. And got to be said, South Africa, you know, the way they batted, mm. I thought, uh, you know, playing only six batsmen, mm. that, that they were one batsman short as well. Mm. And overall, I thought uh, in every department, mm. after a long time, mm. we outplayed our opponent. Yeah. And uh, how much of a role did the minister play? I mean, I want to ask you this because yeah. I know that the minister, Honourable Sports Minister Harin Fernando, was seen to be making efforts to try and bring about some settlement, yeah, some understanding between so-called warring factions that they claim was in existence. So, do you think his role also had some impact on this? Absolutely. I mean, he went to Australia before the Canberra Test match and mm -hmm. gave all the confidence to the players. I mean, what we saw in, in the uh, social media and stuff. And in, in, uh, in Sri Lanka, where he had all the four senior players mm -hmm. getting together and trying to uh, resolve a few of the issues what they had. Mm -hmm. So he is directly involved, even when the team came back mm -hmm. uh, yesterday. He there was, was a difference. He was guarding them. He was them. <laughs> guarding them. So that's his mentality, being a sportsman. He loves, he loves his sport yeah. and he's 100% there. So, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i with you. We, a lot of credit should go to him as well think that the mentality has been brought, the calmness he brought, the confidence he gave to the players would have definitely played a bigger role. On a lighter, on a lighter note, did the school he went to also play a role in his decision making? The school? The school he went to, did it play a role? Maybe the friends he has probably okay. around All right. him. Alright, we won't <laughs> go there. Just, just that was in, in, in lighter way, right? Okay. Now, in case you didn't know, Sri Lanka became only only team outside Australia and England to beat South Africa in South Africa. Now that speaks volumes. That's not some anything easy. People who have played in South Africa, people who know the South Africans as opponents, as this gentleman will uh, vouch for, it's not an easy thing, particularly to tame a team in their own backyard. But let's now try and focus on some of the key areas. Now I thought there were some key moments in the game or in the series and every time the South Africans look like getting the initiative and running away. The Sri Lankans did something special. Yeah. Now, how long can Sri Lanka be expecting the bowlers to do this without the batsmen putting their hand up? We'll, we'll come to that. Come, come, come to the batting 
you know, we have had two real situations in betting, Kusal Pereira and this partnership. Yeah. Nothing else to show. Bowling outstanding. But how long more? All depends on uh, the next series coming up. I mean, it's, it's against New Zealand in, I think it's July. But isn't this the story of uh, Sri Lanka cricket? Bowlers have always been there to do their bit. True. I mean, when it comes to batting, mm. I don't think uh, the top order did their job, especially the openers. Yeah. Like, uh, there were there was partnerships, small partnerships. Oh, I but thought nothing they looked solid without really converting it. Nothing significant. Yes. I mean, they did the hard work, the ballot, yes. ballot time, yes. tried yes. to get the shine of the new ball go, yeah. Thirimana and uh, Dimut. But runs expected did they get? Not really, but still they did a job. I mean, overall, it's very hard to pinpoint a finger when, it, when we win. Mm. If you lose, it's a different story and lots of uh, talk will be on. Mm. But overall, I thought uh, Osanda, for me, I mean, he's very impressive. The first test match looked a bit rusty. Mm. And uh, even the second test match, first innings, got out to a ball where he should have been playing a little bit quicker. It was mm. a bit late, mm. uh, inside edge ball. But in the second innings, the way he batted, batted like a matured, uh, matured little uh, youngster. Yeah. And Kusal managed to come out of uh, his little uh, failure. And for him to finish the, finish the innings the way he did, definitely showed his character. But overall, I think, uh, Roshan, Betting is definitely an issue. Mm. So far, we haven't been scoring big runs. Yeah. So going forward, we need to we need to do something. I mean, for me, the thing I can see is they're not playing their own game. Mm. They need to play their own game. You, you take Kusal Pereira. Mm. He played his own game. He scored runs. End of the day, it's yeah. runs. It's about you, it being it's himself. Absolutely, it's being yourself. You know, the way it's what suits you, you play the best. I mean, it's mm. important you play to the uh, situation, mm. but you need to back yourself to play a natural game in every day. Now, I, I read an interesting question <coughs> post on social media. Of course, as you know, people are elated. Some people are not because <laughs> there was so much of criticism of the team. They wanted X, Y and Z out, but now they are not out, they're in. So, one person had posed a question. Do you think that all issues of Sri Lanka cricket is over now? I'm asking you that question. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, there are still a few, you know, uh, issues to be uh, solved. But mm. this is a good start. Mm. I mean, while having few issues which is going on, but still coming out victorious yeah. in South Africa, will definitely give that confidence and uh, belief to the team. So, going forward, you know, it's, it's another series coming up. Yeah. So, you just have to forget about what happened mm. and try and move on. Be a, be, be a professional mm. trying to uh, win the next one day series and hopefully uh, win the uh, 2020 series and the Scotland two games and the mm. World Cup. So, you just have to move on, forget about the things behind, behind, behind the door. Just mm. focus on cricket and that's the best thing uh, the players can do. Yeah, we're talking about the World Cup that's coming up. That's going to be a huge event. But the question is, how, how, how much of a serious contender is Sri Lanka going into that event? Right now, I think Sri Lanka aren't going to excite too many teams. But one way of finding out is the one-day series that is going to come up. Now, where it's going to be five one-day one games and starting on the 3rd of March. Now, it's, it's a very green-looking Sri Lankan team, a very inexperienced, a young team and lots of unknown names. Now, we discuss, when I say unknown, unknown internationally, yeah. known to the local uh, folk, known very much in the domestic uh, scene, but internationally unknown. Now, the question is, uh, as we discussed, with the World Cup around the corner, most teams are looking to go with experience. You know, a World yeah. Cup is about experience. True. So, how does this combination and how does this squad look and, and how do we move forward? I'm not going to, it's not fair to ask you what the team is going to be like. Yeah, you, can, you can come up with your thoughts, but I'm looking at the bigger picture. I reckon uh, most of the players will get at least a couple of games minimum. Is just that to, enough? I think, I mean, there are 17, especially the batsmen, there are mm. about 10 batsmen, so you need to rotate to give everyone a chance. Mm. And playing five one days uh, in South Africa is a challenging anyway. Mm. So I think there will be, I mean, everyone will be involved for sure. Mm. Mm. But do we know the. 15 for the World Cup, I don't definitely think so, yeah. but some, some of the players are recovering from injuries, namely Lairu Kumara, just, Angelo Matthews. Just to stop you there, just to stop you there, quick question. What about uh, Suranga Lakma? Do you think he's, he, he's been kind of omitted from this side, wanting him to have some longevity and a rest? Or is it the way of the selectors thinking going forward? I think a bit of both. I'm not too sure what is the reason. Okay. But I uh, definitely think that he is good enough to compete. 
for a spot here. Mm -hmm. But uh, especially select, in England, especially in uh, England. But uh, going forward, you know, the selectors must be thinking there are other options, which mm -hmm. uh, even longevity uh, to have Suranga playing more Test cricket. So okay. that's an option too. But looking at this squad, I mean, mm -hmm. pretty happy. I mean, so many, so many good uh, youngsters yep. who have performed well have got to go. Mm -hmm. But saying that, there are a few others uh, who have who have uh, performed well and got injured mm. are still uh, in the sideline. So th yeah. those guys will have a bigger say as well. So I reckon this far, probably the first three one days mm. will uh, will uh, give us an idea what's the 15 going to be. Because, uh, you know, probably the first preference players will mm. get a chance and then the, the others might uh, get a go in. Right, whatever happens, you can be assured that the South Africans are going to come hard. Now, that's what Faf Duplessis promised in the second test and it turned out to be a hoax. They never came hard. In fact, <laughs> they lost badly. So, I'm kind of hoping it might be the same. But for Sri Lanka, you cannot ask for a better setting to win a series. Because Sri Lanka have been performing so poorly in the ODI format. And if they can win this five-match series, that will be the boost they want going into the World Cup, but then that is to be seen. The first game starts on the 3rd at Joburg. Now, let's try and, fo let's try and focus back home. The major T20 tournament is in, in full swing and the final will happen on the 27th of March at the Pisara Oval. First semi-final, close one. Army lost to Moors by six wickets. NCC versus CCC. One run win for the NCC. They played at NCC team. Sorry? Half, of the, half of the team is not there. No, no, we don't believe all that. <laughs> Even you, you, that's your team. That's the NCC team. You cannot be complaining that you have no. Players. No, I said they were, we are in the finals. They played, yeah. but we are there. We are in the final. <laughs> that, that's true. We give them credit for that. But great game. One run. One run. That's the kind of cricket you expect. So it's going to be a really good game on the 27th. Moors, I must say, a bit of outsiders. Yeah. I don't think they were really given a chance to get there. Absolutely. But uh, CCC is a good side. And I think NCC is a very good side as well with Chandimal there. So, it's going to be a good final. Always good to have an outsider so that they can spring a surprise. Yeah, NCC, CCC semi-final well, this year. The final was the last year. Yeah. We played the same last year which I was involved. CCC had a really, really, really very balanced team. Very good side. I think I was watching the game yesterday. What happened was they uh, lost wickets uh, in regular intervals. That's mm. what's cost us the game. Yeah. With NCC, they just pegged around, pegged around. And we, 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 we are spinners actually. Mm. Uh, bowled really well to win that game. Talking about Moors, as you said, outsiders, but have done really well. Yep, Some absolutely. of the experienced players are doing really well. So, it's going to be a cracker of a game. And the first round, actually Moors beat NCC. Mm. By, I think about uh, four by four was, wickets. Was NCC depleted then? Uh, I would say half. Uh, <laughs> the bowling team definitely was not there. If NCC wins or loses, you can be sure he will say they were depleted. I won't say anything. I'll anyway, definitely say it, half of the team is not there. <laughs> it's, 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 it's going to be a good game. Right. March Madness is what we are going to look at now as March comes up. As you, you know, March is all about big matches. The Joe Pete, Ananda, Nalanda. You can watch them this weekend on the papri.com. Dialogue Television and My TV, and you can be also assured that many more big matches will be given the coverage during the month of March. And you know where to watch them: the Papare.com, Dialogue TV, and of course My TV. Well, we are almost at the end of our program, and we got a question. As you know, every week we ask you a question. Now, before the South African series in 2019, what was Sri Lanka's last Test series victory outside Asia? So, once again, the question, before Sri Lanka beat South Africa in 2019, what was their previous victory outside Asia? Now, the last week's question, we asked you, who scored Sri Lanka's first Test 100 in South Africa? That happened, believe it or not, in 2002. Asha Antila that gritty left-hander who captained Sri Lanka, was to score a ton of runs during his day. He was the man who made 104 not out at Centurion in 2002. Were you playing in that game? No. 2004, I started. Right. So, Favis Maruf wasn't there, but Hasha Antilagratna made 104 not out. Now, the last week's winner is Mithira Udugama. Did I tell your name right? Yes, Mithira Udugama. Congratulations to you, Mithira, on your win picking uh, of Hasha Antilagratna's name. So, once again, it was a great pleasure and a privilege to bring you around the wickets on the paparade.com, especially because it's a very good feeling. Sri Lanka had won a series, created history, and to somewhat to some extent, silenced a lot of their critics. Now, 
it's time for the one day team to put their hands up so let's see what happens we will join you again very soon until we see you again thank you for joining us and goodbye